As of May 7, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 3,672,238 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally with 254,045 deaths. There are now 1,542,829 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. As of May 8, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded a total of 18 confirmed cases of COVID-19. 17 of those are fully recovered and have reintegrated into their communities. And one active case is currently in hospital care and recovering well. As of May 8, 2020, St. Lucia has recorded a total of 18 confirmed cases of COVID-19. 17 of them are fully recovered and have reintegrated into their communities and one active case is currently in hospital care and recovering well. On Friday, May 8, 2020, results for 45 samples were received and they were all negative. This brings a total of 620 tests conducted to date. On Friday, May 8, 2020, the Ministry of Health and Wellness received into quarantine 219 St. Lucians who are cruise ship workers on the Carnival Glory and the Caribbean Princess. These nationals shall be in quarantine for a period of 14 days as per country protocol. Over the next few weeks, we will continue to receive other St. Lucian cruise workers and eventually our returning nationals. Quarantine centers have been set up in St. Lucia using various hotels to facilitate the large numbers of returning nationals and any non-nationals that may arrive of concern. Institutional quarantine remains the standard for St. Lucia. However, in certain cases, based on assessments, home quarantine has been facilitated. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we once again ask the public to work with us to reduce the impact of COVID-19. Our returning nationals are asked to abide by the quarantine protocols. We ask their relatives and loved ones to support them throughout the process. Further, if anyone is aware of any individual who has entered St. Lucia through unofficial routes to alert the authorities, all these measures are in place to keep all of us safe. The Department of Health and Wellness we will continue providing regular updates on COVID-19.